Hey Joe fans, I'm JoeFan82 here with the last look at the last figures we'll be seeing from the G.I. Joe Collectors Club. They were revealed this week and um, it's a little bit sad. These are the last figures we'll be seeing from G.I. Joe for a while. So it looks like uh, nobody's tuning in yet, but I'm sure somebody will. Let's go ahead and bring up the first image for the first figure here. We have we have Slaughter's Marauders Barbecue. This is uh, basically a repaint of the modern version of Barbecue. I think it's the third modern version. We had regular barbecue, then Rise of Cobra barbecue. Wait, now maybe it's the fourth version because believe it or not, there already was a Slaughter's Marauders version of barbecue released. It didn't look exactly like this, but uh, there was another version and I'll, uh, I'll get to that a little bit later. So this version bears a striking resemblance to the, his vintage counterpart. Let me bring up that. So here's the new one. Here's the original. This is from yojo.com. Again, yojo, the website yojo.com is going, they're going back and they are uh, redoing all of the images for their figures. And you can imagine how long that would take. So this looks like an image that they've had on there for a while, so the resolution is a bit low. But you can clearly see, let me go back and forth here, the helmet, the top, the, the color scheme, all the way down is matched very, very closely. They are going for an exact vintage reproduction in modern form. And I think they, they really nailed it with this. So it looks like we've got some people tuning in. Uh, Benny, hey, uh, Benny Benzino Orozoko. I always butcher your name. Sorry about that. Fighting Type Trainer, hi. Thanks for joining me. Uh, Jeff Baroud, beware, beware the wiper. Yeah. Guys, hey. Cobra. All right. So this is barbecue. I am a fan of Slaughter's Marauders. I... Uh, I love the color scheme. I'm a, I like sub teams, and uh, Slaughter's Marauders really gets it gets me with their color scheme: blue, green. I'm a blue, green, purple kind of guy. Uh, so yeah, I I'm all about this figure. And so that was the first figure that was released. What do you guys think about this? Uh, let me know either in the chat or in the comments below. So that is barbecue. Let me go over to the the club's little write-up here. The club said, This G.I. Joe team member was chosen to be part of the Slaughter's Marauders unit because of his unique firefighting specialties. His classic camo uniform makes him the perfect figure to complete your 2018 G.I. Joe con set. So... Uh, so it says in the description, his classic camo uniform. Well, he doesn't really look like he's wearing camo. Uh, just solid colors there. But he looks great to me. Okay, so let's go. Uh... All right, so that's barbecue. The other figure we saw is... Low light, Slaughter's Marauders Low Light. Again, they are going for a very close reproduction of the vintage figure. So this is the new one, and this is the vintage. And as you can see, very, very close. They both have the blue, excuse me, the blue hat, the blue goggles, the blue shoulder pad. On the right, the colors go all the way down. I believe, I believe the new one has the blue gloves too, like the vintage. So, yeah, they're going full, full uh, uh, vintage style here. 
And again, low light is a great figure. If you don't have a low light, I highly recommend picking one up. The regular version and um, if you want this one too. The, um, I think it was great they re-released that low light. You know, he came out with Pursuit of Cobra and he was extremely hard to find. And then they re-released him. That's how I was able to get him. So yeah, you've got Slaughter's Marauders, Barbecue, and Low Light. Uh, checking out the chat here. Um, Gaz, was he the first non-military Joe barbecue? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the answer to that. Uh, the new version of Low Light looks way better. Wow. So... Yeah, so you've got Slaughter's Marauders. However, if you if these two figures are the reason that you would be signing up for uh, the club and buying these figures, you should know, if you don't know already, that there were Slaughter's Marauders versions of both of these characters released in 2011 in a box set. It was a Slaughter's Marauders box set that included barbecue, bull, falcon, low light, mercenary, which I believe is supposed to be Mercer, red dog, and spirit. Now, those two figures are more of a modern update. They're color. It's the same figure, same sculpt, but the paint scheme is different. It's not as vintage inspired. It's a resemblance but it does not match the vintage very closely whereas the two that we're seeing from the club now are you know an exact copy color wise uh, for the vintage figures so just wanted you to be aware of that and from the little bit of searching I did online you can find those figures from 2011 on eBay for cheaper than you're going to find these new figures. So you might want to weigh that into consideration uh, when you're looking to uh, into purchasing. So yeah, that is, those are the two new figures they released. Hey, Big Easy 77, thanks for joining us. Looks like we've got a, got a good group here. Ten people watching. That's great. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate it. So, uh, Fighting Type Trainer asks, What's your favorite Joe? My favorite Joe? My favorite character is Snake Eyes. My favorite figure, my favorite vintage figure is Scoop. Believe it or not, uh, it is Scoop. And uh, that just, from when I was a kid, that was my guy. And um, yeah, so. Yeah, I just, before I started the stream, I hopped on the club website and saw that it looks like pre-orders are live. We were wondering when they were going to uh, go up. Hey, Joe, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Jeff says I think I just saw that complete set sell for about 115. So Jeff's referring to the Slaughter's Marauders set that was released in 2011 and uh, he says he saw it though that's how many figures was in that were in that set uh, one two three four five so that was a seven pack for 115 dollars. So you might want to think about that uh, when you're signing up for the club. If you're only signing up for the club to get the Slaughter's Marauders figures, you might want to rethink it. However, this lineup has a lot more than just Slaughter's Marauders. Big Easy says, Low Light is awesome. I agree with you. I think he is awesome. Yeah, se seven in that set. So let's, I'm going to look at the pricing. I didn't have a chance to get any screenshots or anything, so you can't really see what I'm looking at here but I'll kind of go over so it looks like you can pre-order all 12 figures the final 12 and it for 
$526. Now, on their website, the club website, they have that as being a markdown from $576. So it looks like that is a pre-order price at $526. And at some point, that price is going to go up when pre-order closes. So I'm not sure when. And it says approximate delivery time is in January, which is a lot quicker than I was expecting. I was expecting February, March, April, somewhere in there. So that's for all 12. Now, if you go down, they are selling the two packs, two figures, for $96. Uh, those do not that does not look like a markdown price. It's not slashed through or anything So I'm just kind of scrolling through and it looks like all the two packs are $96 So I haven't had time to do the math, but I'm guessing it's cheaper if you order all 12 as one instead of um, Piecing them out Um and going down, they also have the pre-order up for the Ninja Force Zartan with the Cold Slither Cycle. And uh, take a guess as to what that is. It is higher than I was expecting. Um, higher than what I heard some other people thinking it was going to be. And that is priced at $86. That's the Ninja Force Zartan with the Cold Slither Cycle. That's also a uh, delivery of January. It says approximate delivery January. So, and we also have the Cobra Night Stalkers Female Troopers 3-pack for $82, which is a little bit unfortunate to me. I feel like that price should be lower considering it's just a repaint of what they've had before. Like, I could see 60 something for that, but uh, that's what it is. And again, all of these say January delivery time frame. So there you go. If you are in at all interested in these figures, I recommend pre-ordering these now because if you change your mind later on, odds are you're going to be paying a lot more than you're going to pay here at the club. I mean, you could chance it and wait 10 years and, and the prices may come down. I don't know. That's up to you. So, uh, yeah, I apologize. I didn't have time to get screenshots for you to uh, see what I was looking at there. But if you go to the website, gijoclub.com, you will see everything listed there. And it looks like the chat's blowing up a little bit here. I'm going to try to catch up. Um, uh, Gaz says, Tunnel Rat is a great figure. Yeah, he is. He's a, a repaint of a previous version, and uh, yeah, that was a great figure. Um, Jeff says, email said, oh, so you got an, I probably got an email too, I just haven't had time to check it. Uh, Jeff says, an email said the discount on all 12 figures until last day of the year. Okay, so until the end of this, okay, December 31st. So if you're gonna pre-order these, you have until December 31st to get that lower price in. Or actually, is that the discount or they stopped selling it December 31st? I'm not sure. It was my understanding that 2018, the last day of 2018, that's when the club is not allowed to sell anymore after that. Um, I'll have to check my email on that and see. If you're a member of the club, check your email. There's probably some more information in there jeff zartan way high dollar. yeah zartan is is uh higher than i was expecting i'm guessing the club saw it seemed like there is a lot of positive feedback for that and unfortunately they took that to mean that they could sell it for a higher price i guess i don't know one thing you have to remember these are probably being done in a much lower run than uh, previous FSS figures. Also, these are online exclusive only figures. These aren't mass made at retail. 
Um, so you got to take that into consideration. You're going to pay uh, a little more. Uh, Gaz says they should have done a four pack of the Dreadnoughts as Cold Slither. That would have been cool. That would have been really nice with with some you know instrument accessories. That would have been really cool. Benny, what's Benny? What's on your order? Are you asking me what I'm ordering? I I don't know yet. I gotta gotta figure that out. Um, Fighting type trainer says any potential for Hasbro to make new figures soon? Uh, unfortunately, I would say there is uh, little to no potential for Hasbro to make any new figures anytime soon. That's why this is kind of a big deal because. These, this Final 12 and the 3 pack and Zartan with the motorcycle are the last time we'll be seeing G.I. Joe, I think, in this scale, in this style, for a while. Maybe for a few years. Now, there is a rumor that Mezco, the company Mezco, uh, may have acquired the license or the rights to make G.I. Joe figures. Now, Mezco makes six-inch figures. I have a feeling that if they did acquire the G.I. Joe license, they would continue to make six-inch figures for G.I. Joe. They would not, I don't think they would do uh, 1 18th scale or 3 and 3 quarter inch. I just don't think that they would that's a lot more cost upfront cost for new tooling and all that whereas if they stick with six inch they can use some existing tooling and it would be more cost effective and that's my opinion what do you think let me know uh either in the chat or in the comments um gaz says i would think they will when the new movie drops uh, I agree. However, um, I'm not sure when that's... I think that's supposed to have a release date of 2020. Let me uh, see if I can look that up really quick here. Now, there's no guarantee of that either, you know. Uh, bear with me, guys. A little bit of uh, awkward silence. Hold on. Talk amongst yourselves while I'm... Uh, here we go. Do, do, do. Um, All right, hold on, guys. Sorry about this. You piqued my interest here. I'd like to know what the release date or the tentative release date... I don't see it on IMDb, so I'm not I'm not sure what the official release date for uh, the GI Joe movie is. I thought it was 2020. Last I heard, it was March 2020, but I could be mistaken on that. So, but when the new movie drops, I'm pretty sure I'm I'm fairly positive that we'll see new toys for that now. What those look like, I don't know. Will they still be three and three quarter? Will they be something else? And it's interesting that they are doing, it's going to be a Snake Eyes movie, so they aren't veering away from the real American hero story like many people thought that they would or thought that they should. So... It seems like they want to still tap into that G.I. Joe versus Cobra theme and characters and storyline. So there's a, a, a chance we could see them continue with figures like we see over here. Let me get... Sorry, I forgot I had that. Uh, figures like we see over here, the 118th scale. That, I mean, that's what I, my hope would be for that, to continue what they've been doing with some new figures. But uh, that's just me. I'm sure some of you would rather see something else, something different, maybe a different scale, if you're tired of 118th scale. 
Um, Uh, Benny look, looks like Benny is or Benny Benzino or Zoko is ordering Zartan, the Sonic Fighters, and Tiger Force. I'm a big sub team guy, so the fact that they have Sonic Fighters and Tiger Force on here, which were two of my favorites from when I was a kid, is really hitting me hard. You know, they are those are at the top of my my wish list. Uh, Jeff says uh, Jeff says the release date for the movie he saw at twenty. 2020 fighting type trainer says i read 2022 so 2022 that's four years from now i i don't think it's 2022 it might end up being 2022 we're at the very early stages of this they haven't started shooting they haven't i don't even think they have a finished script yet there's been no casting news so anything can happen at this point uh, they said that pre-production has begun. Uh, Jill says March 2020. So that's what I heard. March 2020 is uh, what right now is the official release date. But again, that can change at any time. You really don't get a locked-in release date until much later. And even then, I hate to bring it up, but if you all will remember a few years ago, we had a little bit of a fiasco with G.I. Joe Retaliation. It was supposed to come out, I think that was also a March release date, and they pushed it back pretty much a full year with a little over a month before it was originally supposed to be released. So you really have to you know, be mindful that some of these dates and things can change very quickly. Uh, Kid Apoc says they should go back to the 80s, a real American hero era style of figure, still popular today. I assume you mean the O-ring vintage style figures that for a lot of people, that would be their choice. But I believe Hasbro has said they will never go back to that style. Um... I think I think that's been their party line on that topic. So, yeah, um, that's not to say that you can't still find new figures like that being produced. We saw a custom uh, Gary goggles in vintage style. Uh, was that released at JoeCon this past JoeCon or the JoeCon before that? I forget. I, I wasn't able to get one, but and uh, you're able to see that one. And um, I think CoilCon this year had two um, vintage style figures, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Benny Horizoko says. They should have pushed back retaliation so far it was never released. Well, <laughs> well, that's... <laughs> now, I there were parts of retaliation that I liked. Um, I thought the snake eyes, little bits of snake eyes that were in both Rise of Cobra and Retaliation were well done. I enjoy those. And there were little bits here and there, but that's, that's pretty funny. So I mentioned on uh, Facebook and Twitter that I had uh, something come in that was G.I. Joe related, that was not a toy, that some of you probably already have, but I was not able to get until now. And I'm going to show it to you right now. Hold on. Hold on. You can probably guess what it is here. Hold on. I forgot to do this. The anticipation is... Uh, is palpable right hold on a second what you don't want to do in a live stream is have dead air you don't want to have a lot of silence on your live stream so that's why I'm trying to fill the silence I'm filling the awkward silence so here we go this is what I just got it is the GI Joe hoodie that everybody was seeing at Walmart for a while there a as far as I know, they're not still at Walmart. I I haven't seen them, uh, but I found mine on Amazon, and 
Yeah, I was I was very surprised. I just looked it up to see if they had it, and they did, and it was actually not not too expensive for me. Um, now your budget may vary, so let me just tell you this is a, a very nice uh, jacket. It's hooded. It's got a hood with drawstring on the hood. It's got a uh, distressed GI Joe logo. It's a zip up hoodie, which I like. So you don't have to pull it over your head. You can just zip it up the front. It is very, it's soft, it's comfortable. It's a little, it's lightweight. It's not a thick material. So this would be good for, uh, you know, if you're going for a walk on a cool evening, this would be good. If you're going for a walk through the snow in 20 degree weather, this is probably not gonna be enough. Um, it's good for wearing around the house if you're in the cold. I live in South Florida, so I don't wear jackets too often. But on those days that it does get to be a little bit chilly, which are few and far between, this will work out just fine. It's not too heavy, and uh, the color, it's, it's uh, this is sort of a, a greenish color here, and then on the sleeves and the outside of the hood, it's like a, a gray. So I don't know if you can really tell that on camera, but... Uh, yeah, and it fits very well. I ordered a medium. I typically wear a medium, and uh, it fits pretty well. So I put a, uh, a link for this on Amazon in the description for this video. If you're interested, you can check it out, and uh, it'll also help the channel out and help me out. So if you're interested in doing that, go check it out. Um, I, be I think... I I don't remember if they were also selling a Cobra version. I know they have G.I. Joe, but I don't remember. I know they had Transformers, but I don't remember if they had uh, um, Cobra. Uh, uh, Jeff says, next weekend at Retro Toy, they are doing, or is next weekend the uh, Retro Toy Con? They are doing O-Ring figs. So, so yeah, a lot of these conventions are able to do vintage style figures and um, they some of them are available to order online but they're not um, they're not at bargain prices you're gonna pay uh, a little bit of a premium because they're an exclusive item a low low run um, uh, yeah, Benny got his, you got yours at Walmart. Yeah, I missed it out when it was at Walmart. So yeah, I was pretty happy to find it. So yeah, that's what I had uh, picked up recently. Um, also, the reason I got it, I will be going to, me and my family will be going to Boston next week for Thanksgiving. We'll be out of town. So I won't have any new videos next week. However, I will be doing a... Um, Patreon exclusive video, which should be done this week, and possibly another regular review video on the channel, hopefully before I leave on Monday. Uh, so there's no new videos next week, but the week after that, the week after Thanksgiving, I will resume uh, my uh, hard work on the channel. So yeah, that's... Uh, pretty much it for tonight. I uh, wanted to drop that bit of news on you and give you an update for uh, a little bit of update uh, for the holidays. So I hope all of you are going to have a great holiday, Thanksgiving, spending time with your family and friends. And um, yeah, so that's it. I appreciate all of you showing up and tuning in. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.